Okay, YouTube. Fergie. Um, yeah. Um, making my second tutorial today. Because I'm at 90 subs and I haven't been really active. And I just want to post some content for you. Uh, so I didn't really know what to do for this. So I'm going to do 3D motion tracking in just Sony Vegas Pro. So it, it, it's actually pretty easy. Just like get um, cinematics from just like anywhere. You can find them anywhere you want. I'm just going to use an easy one. This one's easy. Just set up your, you know, and then just insert a track over that. Go to media generators. Um, legacy text works the best, I guess. I never really played around with the other ones, so I'm using this. Just drag in default text to start, and then we're gonna make a preset. So. Um, I'll just make it say Fergie, um, change the font or whatever, uh, don't play around with the placement, but, um, properties, uh, I'm just gonna leave it white, um, draw shadow, but we're gonna make it white, set it's like a, um, you'll see, and then just set, set it, set it to zero, so that it's all around it, you see? Nah, me. <laughs> and then you can see how it kind of, it, it, it like feathers the edge but that's not all how I want it so I'm gonna go to my video effects I'm gonna go down to Gaussian blur and um, I already have a preset oh, wrong clip um, just it's point zero zero five zero on both horizontal and vertical don't animate it, it's fine. Um, now here's where you're actually going to make it 3D. You're going to go to compositing mode or composition mode or whatever it is. Um, compositing mode, yeah. Click on and go to 3D source alpha at the top. Um, now what you're going to do, track motion. Um, this is kind of pretty much the hardest part, I guess. Rotate it. So it's like you're working in Cinema 4D, except there is no plane. You're just doing it by yourself. Um, like, there are no really visual aids. So, it does take some creativity to do. Um, and take your time when you're doing this. Make sure that it looks real. Like, don't rush this or it will look so bad. Okay? It won't even look like it's a motion track. It'll just look like you put some text on there. And, like, right now, you can see it's not motion track. You're like, what's up with that? But, pretty much what we're going to do, this one goes beyond where I want to track it to, so I'll just shorten it. Um, now, you're going to have to rotate it as if that crate that I'm using right there is my plane that I'm tracking it on. So I'm going to change the Z axis, axis rotation, I think, so that it still looks like it's on that. Um, I'm going to move it over on the X axis so that it stays relatively where it is. Fix it on the Y. And then because I'm zooming in on it too in the cinematic, I'm going to any corner of this will work just drag it a little circle will come up just drag it um and yeah i'm gonna just fix this real quick so it looks better so practicing what i preach take your time you know not gonna be a dick and just yeah, it's kind of laggy in the preview because I'm recording, but, um, I'll just, like, throw on a quick color corrector onto this so that it looks better, and then I'll just show you what it looks like. I'll render it out so you can see what it looks like. Um, it really does look 
pretty good if you do it right. You, you can do a lot of things with it. Like you can make it look like there's graffiti written on something. You can make it look like there is um like it's just like this. Like it's just on the crate. Um, it yeah, just get creative with it, I guess, and do your thing. Make it look good. Do what you think looks good. Um, yeah, so I'll render this out, slap it at the end, and that's Fergie with my second tutorial, 3D Motion Tracking. Thanks for watching.